My name is Itai Bentvi. I'm uh, a maker based in California, uh, Israeli originally. And I just make interesting products. It just so happens to be that uh, many of my uh, products use microchip um, processors mostly. And I'd like to demonstrate some of those for you. This uh, project is a, is a plotter based on Android. Um, it has the ability to uh, take a person's picture, then convert it into a drawing um, in one of various different styles, and then uh, control the machine to draw it. The way the tablet controls the motors of the machine is through this board that I developed. It's called a yo-yo board, and it's based on a PIC24. And what it lets people do is very easily connect external electronic circuits to Android devices. The yo-yo connects to the Android device over USB or Bluetooth. And then all the I.O. functions that the PIC24 has are exposed as a Java API on the Android side, making it very easy for people to, to interface with. This is a jacket I made for Burning Man. This jacket actually has uh, 49 uh, PIC microcontrollers on it. Each one of those LEDs is a module just like the one you can see here. It's a 3-watt chainable RGB LED that I developed. And um, it has a PIC12 on it controlling it. And there are 48 of these. And then the last is a PIC24 on the wrist controller that lets us configure the, um, the kind of animation that we're running on the LED so I can choose a different program to, to get a different effect. These LEDs are extremely bright. They're three watts each, and it looks awesome at night. The last project is also using the, the Pixies. And it's an electric guitar. I'm going to turn it on. It has a display. So as you can see, every note has a different color associated with it. And the way this is accomplished is there is a DSP33 microcontroller in this uh, controller here. And it's hooked up to the uh, inside of the line out jack of the guitar. It's um, running FFT in real time on the signal using the uh, DSP libraries that Microchip is providing. It's analyzing the pitch, and then based on the pitch and the volume, it decides what colors to send to the LEDs. And um, it's running free RTOS operating system on it. It's pretty much using almost all of the peripherals that this uh, chip has to offer. It's using a serial to talk to the LEDs. It's using the um, quadrature encoder interface to talk to the knob here. It's driving the display with SPI. Uh, using the analog inputs for the, for the sound, for getting a battery readout. So it, I'm pretty happy with the, both with the result and with the process. I want to show the back as well, just so I, um, I bought an electric guitar, an off-the-shelf electric guitar, uh, put it on a CNC mill, installed the LEDs here on the inside. Here we have a battery and uh, uh, DSPIC 33 based uh, controller board. What I love is the quality of the chips, the fact that they are cheap, the peripherals are very pleasant to work with, very well documented, very well behaved. Um, and I just have in general like good experience working with, uh, with those chips. So I've, I've, I've done like everything from like pick 10s, pick 12s, 16s, 18s, 24s, 32s. I've, uh, I've used the, the entire family and uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy.